Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today. I'm going to be doing a video on the basics of soldering. Before I get into this, I don't want to say I'm not a pro. I'm not, you know, excellent at this. I'm just showing you the basics. This is like, I'm not a pro at it. I'm just showing you the basics. So, before we get started, I'll show you my setup here. So, I got a uh, soldering uh, fan. Because sometimes the fumes from soldering are pretty toxic. So, it's got a carbon filter on it. And it's pretty powerful. You can just listen to it quick. Like, this thing, it'll pull fumes from pretty far away. So this thing is 60 bucks on Amazon, but it's so worth it. It's also got these uh, holders on the side. So then I got, this is actually, it only cost me 8 bucks on Amazon, so I got the soldering flux, which you always want. You just dip the wires in there, and it makes it really easy. It also came with this very thin solder, which you, thinner solder is easier to melt, so I like using that. And then it's got the $60 soldering station off Amazon, cranked up all the way. I got a wet sponge here to clean off the tip. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll show how to get started here. So, uh, and also for tools, besides all the stuff I showed you, you want some wire strippers and you want some wire snips. So I'll just bring it close here quickly. Make sure your cable isn't in the way. But you're going to want to clean it. So I always go through this, swipe off the tip. Tip nice and clean. All right, there you go. Now your tip's ready. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to tin a wire first. We're gonna go with some thick wire. So this is 12 gauge wire from Arma. I got an Ar off an Arma ESC. So these aren't the greatest wire strippers, but what you're gonna do is put that in the 12 gauge hole, clamp down on it, and twist. Automatic wire strippers are pretty nice too, but you just twist, and then you unclamp, and then you just pull that away and you got exposed wire so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my flux and just get the wire full of solder I mean a flux so just kind of do that get some solder on there you can see so what I do is I just twist it get twist it up and then I put it in my holder here, these things are very handy. You can also get a helping hands off Amazon for like 10 bucks. Then you put the holder here. Let me just try to get really close up of this. Okay, dang it, it won't let me zoom in, but here's what I'll do. I'll, uh... well, you should be able to see it, kind of. So, it's just, here we go. So, Bring it a bit closer, and then hold it up a bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is going to be, you're not going to be able to hear me once this fan is running, but, so then, alright, so before I turn this on, what I'm going to do is you always want to pre-tin this, so I'm not going to do it until this fan's on, because I want to breathe this in, so you basically put a little bit on there, that helps heat transfer, so then you hold the soldering iron underneath it, and then you hold this, on top okay come on so then you hold soldering iron underneath and then you hold this until it starts melting and then you wait till it flows through the wire so i'm gonna turn this on and show you quick and then i'll you'll be able to hear me again so With 12 gauge, it does take a second because it, it's a big, thick wire, so it takes a minute to melt it. This isn't recommended, but you can put a little solder at the bottom to help the heat transfer. There it goes, now it's melting. Just keep feeding in until it looks like the wire is well tinned. Okay, so right, that's good. So then, 
go over to your sponge, go over here, clean it off, and get your sponge. Off. Okay, so this isn't the best, but you wanna get it. Oh, that was just not the camera down. <laughs> see, so I don't know if you can see it, but come on, focus. But basically, it's tin to where you can still see the wire strands, but it's holding the wire together. So now I'm going to show you how to solder it on a connector. So I'm just going to use uh, my, my leftover XT90s because I recently switched my collection over to the XT90s. So I'm just going to get this. I'm not going to fully put it on because I still want to keep these as spares. But, so, with these, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the soldering iron on this end and tr add solder in there. So then as you're adding the solder in... So just do that until you think it's good. So I'm going to do that and then I'll put you back on. I don't know if you can hear with this on, but hopefully you can. So I'll turn it on, pre the iron and yeah. Then you always want to pre the iron to get some heat on it. And I'm going to spin this around. There. Yeah, you can kind of see it going into the filter. Yeah. Okay. And there you go. You can see we got a little bit of solder in there. Just enough to coat it. You don't need a terrible amount. A lot. So now what I'm going to do is where is it? Okay. So you take the pre tinned wire end. I'm going to clamp it in here. And then what you're going to do is a helping hands or a connector holder makes this a lot easier. Then you just press it down near where your connector is. And then you can use this to hold your finger as you're melting it. So I'm going to get this pre-tinned. I'm going to turn this on and just kind of show you and then I'll explain afterwards. Sorry if it's hard to see right now. Alright, so then you pull it off, hold it. Oh, that was a bad solder. Okay. It's kind of a pain to do here. I'm just going to hold the wire. I don't recommend this, but actually, what you can do. Okay, that was actually kind of bad. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of these leftover ones I had and just hold it by hand. So let's retry this, so. All right, so we'll do this again. So yeah, let's kind of put it in here, hold it, and you're going to set it in that groove, in that channel, and then just hold down with your soldering iron until it melts in there. And also, I'm using really thick wire, so it will take a little bit longer compared to some other gauges. So once you get it all melted, hold it down, let it cool, try not to move it around because otherwise you'll get a bad solder. Shut off your filter and just unclip it. A helping hands makes it a lot easier. And then there you go. So you got a nice strong. See, look, I'm like I'm like pulling on this with full force. I can't rip it off. So that's a good solder. And also I do like I do uh, do this with lead solder, which most people think is pretty bad for you, but 
it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, I'm tugging on. I'm tugging on this pretty good. You got a nice, good. Oh, here, I'm gonna try to get it to focus. Yeah, you can see it's a nice shiny, solid solder. So that's basically how you tin and solder. I'm gonna quickly show you before I uh, take it off how to combine, how to um, melt wires together. I'm gonna snip this in half. Let's do this right here. There we go. So now I got them in two halves. I'm gonna take the wire strippers, strip one end, twist. And do the same over here on this end. Twist. Oh crap, did I just drop it? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna pull off these ends. So I'm gonna take my flux, dip it in there, get you know full of flux. Do the same with the other end. Dip it in there, get it full of flux. And so then what I'm going to do is kind of just lightly twist these together. Don't put a lot of pressure. Just lightly twist these. Then what I'm going to do is kind of just mash them together. So yeah, just kind of like twist them into each other. And then kind of like twist them at the same time. It's kind of a pain to do and show you at the same time, but... Okay, hold on. I'm going to just redo that quick. I kind of did it in the wrong order. Um, okay, there we go. This is the part I kind of struggle with, but once you get it together, it's pretty easy. It's a lot easier with thinner wire. Okay, alright. Alright, so this isn't the best, but it'll give you an idea, kind of. So I got them twisted together decent. So what I'm going to do is clamp it. And here, I'll kind of just aim it this way so you can see. Alright, so then, what I'm going to do, clean off my soldering iron, tin the tip, and do the same thing kind of with the connector. Just hold it under and tin it. So, Alright, I'm going to turn this on and show you what I mean. It's going to take a while to melt this because it's a lot of wire. Okay, if it's not wanting to, it's not wanting to, wanting to work, what you can do is take and dab a little bit of solder on there. So what I'll do is take this end of a zip tie that was just conveniently on my floor, and just kind of spread it around if it's not wanting to go. Also, I'm not the best at like conjoining them this way. Smaller wire is the easier. I'm also dealing with like this most difficult wire. Yeah, just kind of rub some flux in there. Alright, let's do it again. So, again, I'm not the best at this. I'm still learning as I go, but I'm just showing you the basics. So let's try this again. There we go. Now it's wanting to go. Oh crap. 
don't really want to just set it on your iron. So yeah, just keep feeding it solder so you think it's good. Take this and just drop it in there. All right. There we go. That's good. Shut that off. I'll shut off my iron. All right. Not. Ooh, that is hot. <laughs> yeah, be careful when you're soldering with this hot. Actually, I just use this clip to hold it up. This does get very hot. Yeah, it's not the best soldering joint, but it'll hold. Yeah, I'll let this. Yeah, that wire's hot. But yeah, I'll just talk a little bit more while I let it cool down. But it's really easy to solder tracks this connector. All you do is like, so this one's already pre tinned Kind of with XT90s, you just hold it on there. They are a bit more difficult, but you just tin it, hold it on there. Similar with X with uh, Deans. Which I don't like using these, which is why this is just cut off. Just tin it, and then you hold the wire on. Be careful with these. All these connectors are very easy to melt. So hopefully it's cooled down. Eh, good enough. But yeah, see if I pull it, it's not coming apart. So may not be the best for racing and internal resistance, but it'll hold. So yeah, and the same with here. This wire is on nice and strong. So yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'm not the best, so please don't roast me that bad. But if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next video.